Hello, welcome to your 34th C++ lesson, and this one is just on default parameters. So, first thing I'm going to do is, I've just got this basic program structure set up. I'm going to make a get character and return zero. So just complete that. And then we're just going to make a simple function. So, uh, let's make it a void or an int. It can be whatever you want, really. Let's make an int, actually. Int function one, because I can't think of any names right now. And it's going to take two numbers, and it's just going to return the addition of both of them together. So function 1 is going to take int 1 and int 2. And it's going to return 1 plus 2. Now that's simple stuff. We probably did that in, I don't even know a lesson. That was like near lesson 1. This is very simple function stuff. So it's going to see how function 1 ooh, function 1 and we're just going to do something like 5 and 5. So, I'm pretty sure we all know that's just going to add together 5 and 5. So, it should return 10, which will see out 10. And I don't even think I'm going to debug that, because it's just so simple. So, that's going to output 10, but what if we want it so, if they only put in one parameter, it's going to still do something. Well, what we can do is you can use default, or default, or however you say it, parameters. So, instead of just saying int1, we can say int1 equals something. So, if we said int1 equals 5 and then int2 equals 10, then if we don't specify any parameters, so we just call function 1, it's just going to add 5 and 10, so it's going to say 15. However, if we, for example, give it a 10, it's going to do 10 add 10, because it's going to go for the 10 is 1, but it's going to use the default parameter for 2, so it'll do 10 add 10, which will, is 20. And then we could give it both parameters still, so 20 and 20, and then that's going to be 40. So just to prove this, we're going to just do no parameters. 10. Oh. And 20 and 20. So it should output 15 for doing 5 at 10, 20 for doing 10 at 10, and then 40 for doing 20 at 20. So let's just debug this. And there we go. I haven't left any line spaces. I should have probably done some end L's. But as you can see, 15, 20, 40. Okay, so basically, default parameters are really, really useful. Because a lot of the time, you don't want to actually give it all the parameters, but you still want it to do what you're basically telling it to do. So default parameters are the way around this. So have fun with these, they're really, really useful, and have a nice day.